told me, he said, look, he said, you've been looking for your father all your life. Patty's dad left when she was nine years old. Uh -huh. She's had that vacancy. And he said, the truth is, Gabby, he says, I'm your real father. Mm. He said, the search is over. I'm going to put my arms around you and Patty and walk you through life. And he's been doing that for us ever since. Wow. You know, there's valleys and peaks and all those things Oops. because we're two different people. But we have Jesus. We have a, a, th a three, threefold covenant in this, our marriage. Jesus, Patty, and Gavin. Or Jesus, Gavin, and Patty, however you want to look at it. But he's at the top. And we know that. And he's with us all the time. Like he said, I'm going to put my arms and walk walk you through life and there have been incidents that have to happen to us once we've really found him and dedicated our lives to him that we know he has gotten us through these situations one of the things that i find difficult um, especially counseling people is the awareness of this that if you bring god into your into your marriage that's going to be a power and it's going to be a foundation but people are frightened by that by the very struggle that we have in our world of independence you know, Hmm. I can do it. We, we live in a world that is hmm. very, the struggle with submitting to God is very tough because we've got to surrender to someone else as necessary in our group. And well, you know what I mean? I've got we, it exactly we, we, what you we, say. We, we pull away, we pull away from that surrender to God. Because we were married the first time, we should tell people that we were married and divorced. The first time we were married in a new age thinking. And that new and age kind of thinking new age is thing. exactly that's what that's you right. just I got it I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm, doing it. I'm visualizing that, that, what I want in that balloon, you know, and I am doing it. Amen. Amen. And uh, it's self, very self-oriented. And I've often thought what happened to me was when you're in that self uh, position, selfish comes right alongside of it. And get that's that what I was. Get that fish out <laughs> not, not the real good fish, but the selfish <laughs> of being so involved yeah. in yourself. So, that's what happened. That's what happened to me, and that's what happened to our marriage. In uh, we were in this new age thing, and we were doing the Love Boat. It was a very successful wow, show. If wow, people don't yes. know about it on television, and it was very popular. Started a, a whole course, cruise industry right. and gave a lot how of many, how many awards? How many awards did you receive? Oh, many awards. I, I, you know something. They're still, they're the still award getting I, awards for, really for the Mary Tyler Moore Show, yeah. actually. Really? But you know, yes. the greatest award I've ever got is that. Jesus forgave me of my sins and gave me a new life to really be born again in Him. That, that catapults any kind of award I've ever Okay, received. so tell me a little bit more about getting get, get okay. the separation. You, we're you doing came a, together. We're How long were you together before the uh, divorce? Uh, about, so, about seven so. years. And he was at the height of his fame and fortune. See, Gavin had been a character actor. Yes. And the love boat. I wonder movies. why. <laughs> you read a whole bunch of movies. You That's you know, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I did. He was blessed I because work with because the films that he's been in are still very mm. well known films. You know, they're sort of, I don't know. The I've got a great Cary Grant them. story for you after the camera stop. Okay. <laughs> but but anyway, um, but so he was always a character actor, and he was sort of thrust into this captain with the uniform and the hat. And I remember there was a very famous producer. Um, who we were at the Pantages, and uh, he yelled, uh, uh, Ross Hunter, very oh, big yeah. name as a producer in Hollywood, and he yeah. called across, we were at some function, he said, Gavin, you're a leading man. Well, something Ooh. happened, something happened to Gavin. Out of the clear blue sky, that yeah. happened, Didn't huh? grow any hair, but I was and, <laughs> but, but he had a hat on, so there you <laughs> That's go. That's right, the captain's hat. I said, these but uniforms were That changed him, that, that, and I see it, you see it happen see with that. these couples in Hollywood, stardom, money, Boom. Let me talk they about separate. this part too, honey. That's tough. That's, that's, that's very that true. Must be tough. That's, it's, it's hard for a lot of people, especially when you come from those backgrounds of you know hand to mouth kinds of things. Anyway, but the Mary Tyler Moore show was great. I was another character. I mean, I, you know, it's what you play, who you play, and but when we were doing the Love Boat, this is this is the reason of that break is um, that because of that responsibility that I never had as heading the show, and not heading the five other, six other regulars, it was all mm. those guest stars. Yes, yes. If I wasn't heavy in, in the show working one week, I was all over the country doing press. And so I, I'd leave, it was dark out in the morning, I'd come home, it was dark out at night, and I had to learn lines for the next day. It's like going to college, except sure. the whole world is seeing your, your, yes. your, your final. <laughs> and so uh, I came home and Patty would always say, well, hap what happened today? What was it like? Because that's the way she is. Sure, she's inquisitive, she she's a caring one. And I said, I can't, I can't talk to you. I've got to go in and study my lines. I have to be on top. If I wasn't yeah. really on top, the rest would be the not either. And so I put the responsibility of the show in front of my wife. 
since I was in that self teaching, it was kind of easy to do. And it was very selfish, it was terrible. But the Lord let me go through that, let Patty go through that, be that wonderful person she is, so he could bring us eventually back together and have a testimony that can help so many people out there. When we got remarried, we got remarried in Omaha, Nebraska, in front of, I guess, 1,500, 2,000 people who were standing for their marriages because they had heard Patty's story and they had heard my story. So I think you should talk. So Patty, I don't tell, want to me, dominate. tell me on, on your part, what, what, what happened? Why did, it, why did it sour? We're well, talking about the new age and perhaps right. a little See, selfish. I came, yes, I'm from Washington, D.C., came from, I was an only child, my mother was an only child, my father had left, um, I, but I, I had been married and had three children, and we divorced, and uh, then about six years later I met Gavin. But what really happens, and you, as I s said before, you see it all the time. Uh, when people achieve stardom, they've got the biggest houses, the money, yeah, they don't yeah. know what else to do with themselves. And they just sort of, it's like shooting themselves in the foot. What can I, you know, because most of them, Gavin too, I mean, their fathers had never seen that kind of money. Yeah. And here they are, and they, subconsciously, what can I do to kind of mess things up? because I don't deserve all this. Ah. That's, that's my feeling, ah, and I have talked thing, to psychologists it? Yes. about it, and it's happening today with the mm -hmm. young ones, and it happened to us, and, uh, but, but see, the other thing that he didn't mention is when I'd say, you know, honey, I think we really need to talk. There's a few problems here. We, that's it. I'm getting out, you know, I'm getting a divorce. I mean, he would not talk. He said, I have to go to work, or I have to study, or I have to do this. That's it. I shouldn't be married. And so one day, Really, I mean, I should have heard those warnings, but one day um, I was out doing a, a big musical all over the